Deborah, a painter, had no history of cancer when a 2007 mammogram revealed she might have breast cancer. A core needle biopsy showed that she had ductal carcinoma in situ. They brought Randy in and the doctor starts rattling off this stuff about, well, you have a high level of DCIS and blah, blah, blah. And it made no impact on me whatsoever except cancer. All the other terminology, I'd never heard it. It didn't mean anything. My first hope was that certainly that, that Deborah would stay as healthy as possible. And my second hope was that the journey and whatever path that it ended up taking wouldn't be too difficult for her and for us. After an MRI and another biopsy, Deborah was told a mastectomy was her best surgical option since there were multiple areas in her breast with non-invasive breast cancer and that it should cure her cancer. Unfortunately, the analysis of the tissue from her mastectomy showed that her cancer had broken out of her milk ducts and was in fact invasive ductal carcinoma. Realizing she would need to see a medical oncologist often, Deborah found one closer to home. And she's looking over all the records and she says, where's the results of your Oncotype DX test? And I have no idea what she's talking about. There are several types of breast cancer. The Oncotype DX test helps women like Deborah who have been newly diagnosed with breast cancer and are making treatment decisions regarding adjuvant therapy. The test is recommended for women with early stage estrogen receptor positive, lymph node negative invasive breast cancer. In addition, postmenopausal women recently diagnosed with node positive, hormone receptor positive breast cancer may also be appropriate candidates. When your doctor orders an Oncotype DX test, the hospital will send a sample of the tumor removed during your lumpectomy, mastectomy, or core biopsy to Genomic Health's laboratory. You will not have to go through any additional surgery or procedure to get the Oncotype DX test done. The Oncotype DX test itself is performed on a small amount of your tumor which has been preserved or fixed and embedded in paraffin. The tumor is sectioned into very thin slices. These slices are then analyzed. RNA, part of the genomic makeup of the cells, is then extracted from your tumor sample and analyzed to determine the level of activity, or expression, of each of 21 genes. This measurement is done in triplicate. Finally, the results of the analysis are used to determine your personal recurrence score result. The entire process takes about 10 to 14 days to complete. This test should not be confused with BRCA1 and BRCA2 gene testing. BRCA testing determines if you carry a gene that caused your breast cancer to happen. Once your Oncotype DX testing is completed, a detailed report is sent to your doctor to share with you. Deborah's recurrence score result was a 33 meaning she had a high chance that her cancer would come back. Her oncologist recommended she start chemotherapy immediately. I had a score of 33, which means a 23% chance of reoccurrence. So it was a no-brainer for me to say, well, yes, sure, I want chemotherapy. We had been going on the assumption that Deborah's risk was really relatively low, and we felt good about that. The Oncotype DX test showed us that that really wasn't the case, and although that was quite a surprise, it was a relief to know what the real story was. Because of consistent results in multiple clinical studies involving more than 4,000 patients, the Oncotype DX test is the only test of its kind recommended in treatment guidelines by both the American Society of Clinical Oncology, ASCO, and the National Comprehensive Cancer Network, NCCN. These guidelines were developed by medical experts to help oncologists and surgeons give their breast cancer patients appropriate care. Since becoming available in 2004, the Oncotype DX test has been ordered by thousands of doctors to improve treatment decisions for nearly 100,000 women worldwide. 
To learn more about Oncotype DX, visit www.mytreatmentdecision.com or talk to your healthcare team. For tens of thousands of women like Laurie and Deborah, the Oncotype DX test is one tool that has offered peace of mind, giving them the knowledge that they were pursuing the appropriate treatment for their individual cancer. Knowledge is power. The test really gave me an opportunity to gather the kind of information I needed to make a responsible medical decision with my doctor. And it took the guesswork out of it. It was just one more piece of reliable information that we could then go forward and make the best decision possible for my particular case. This made a big difference in Deborah's plan, a big difference in our life. And we are eternally grateful to the folks at Genomic Health for this test.